Okay. We'll try and give you a, a detailed analysis of the structure of the architecture for the artificial intelligence control system. This is the whole structure, the whole architecture. This is the superpixel, the synesthetic superpixel, the structure of the synesthetic superpixel. And it consists of, you know, the 10 dimensions and the 22 lines or functions, 22 functions connecting the dimensions. Each of these dimensions are coordinated. So if we have a set of coordinates, they all correspond in each section. But you'll, you'll understand what I mean by that to get a working model in order to be able to compare the different maps. The main thing is to understand the structure and to understand the different functions so that we can see that the system works. And so we're able to program from one step, from one behavior pattern to the next. All of this will become clear. Hopefully. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll run through the 64 properties of the superpixel. And along the way, introduce the different structures. You know, the three triangles. So we'll start off. Here we have the point. The point, the breast end optic is what we call love. But really we should think of it as a coaxial signal. In like a TV socket, TV, coaxial signal. So this, the input signal is the first property. The output signal is the second property. So there's our focusing on a point, property one, and then moving out of focus, but this is our return, our response to that energy, to that signal, is step two. Step one, if you like, is the, you know, the instruction, and step two, procedure two, is the report, the reporting back, the response to the whole situation. So the co coaxial signal, input and output. Then we have steps three and four. Now steps three is obviously moving along a line, following the signals, because that's the signal end optic, is following the movement of the point. And four is returning back to the point, getting back to the point. So we can move to it, we follow the movement to a new point, and then we come back to point. See, returning. Then five and six, five is, a, if you like, the movement is our movement to a new point, and then there's the response, the response to that new point if you like, if that's a stimulus to make us move, then the response five down there is a reward. Six is punishment, no. So it's either a yes or a no. So move to a new point, yes, no. The self, the ego, or the driver, is here, in this sphere, the vision, the eye, five is an eye, see there's the eye, there's the eyebrow above it, and the eye sees the point move,
and then sees the response, sees whether we get fed or not. And so we, after five and six, we come on to seven and eight. Now seven is that focusing on that movement. That is the function of seven. The steering, the steering towards the point. And then eight is returning back, steering back into line with the others, with the group. Remember, with the, you know, one, two, return to the group, return to the report, three, four, return to the point, seven, eight. Again, the report back of one's status or the status of the organism or the autonomous entity. And we come on to the next sphere, the next circle, which is the tunnel on entoptic, the first dimension, a point moving creates a line. So this is the number nine, which is following that line, you know, that, 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 that line, that intent. So it's, if you're going from A to B, it's following a straight line. So it's just following that line, or, or determining that line, or judged from the cell, from the driver, it's the speed, the velocity of movement along that line. So we see an object moving, and we judge its speed, and that, if you like, is number nine. Number ten is, are we going out of line? Are we going off line? And then we come on to the here. Now we're in this triangle, which is the video signal. We're now analyzing the video signal. This is the video signal. And so there we have the video signal. And, and there we actually put, we draw the cartoon. We draw, we separate out the different objects or the different surfaces, the different areas. You know, that is moving at that speed, that is moving at that speed. And then there, so there we have an open movement and that is closed. So we're actually drawing now, we're actually drawing to about topology now, an open and a closed surface, an open and a closed area. So obviously if there's a closed area and it's moving, it seems to be moving differently to the background, we can start to identify it separately. And this is the function here. So here we have the video signal, and that has got to be uh, analysed. Got to be analysed. And the first analysis is the division up into the different areas. The definition, the drawing, the cartoon. Then we come to 13, 14. 13 is the object moving in relation, staying with other objects or staying with the background. And then 14 if it's, is it separating from the other objects. So, so, so this one, there's the driver. This is the function of the differential. So it's the accelerator in the autonomous being. Remember, this is the visual, the video. This is the attention, looking around, seeing shapes moving, identifying the speed, and identifying the, 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 identifying the shape. The actual identification comes here in this one, but we'll get there. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, then 15, 16. 15 is in, and 16 is out. So are we in position? Have we got to the right position? Or are we out of position? Are we moving into this space or out of that space? Let me jump over here, 17 or 18, 17, 18. And remember, this is the second dimension. So this is the face, face end optic, which is surfaces, seeing the surfaces. 
17 is focusing on, on the face. And then 18 is, is responding, is, is responding, you know, appropriately to what you see on the face. So here, there's 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 19 and 20, 19, we see a shape and a surface and a pattern. And 20, we identify that surface, shape and pattern. We identify the face. We see the face with the mother and the child. Obviously, you know, there we have the, 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 the lover, seeing the lover. But that lover can just be the, the object that you're looking for. You know, in terms of the functioning of an autonomous system, it sees a visual flow, a visual thing, and, and has to define different areas and then recognize those the different patterns. This is very important. So when it comes to, say, searching for objects, to be able to understand the different parts from different visual angles, for example. 21, 22. This is about the t this is the time the fourth dimension so, so this is the timing it's doing things at the right time twenty one if, if you like is working out when's the right time and twenty two is the right time remember the response back to the other so twenty one is is working it out the order the problem you know which is all the other things remember combined that we're now juggling remember. So you've got 64 properties and each one can influence each other. So that's the programming. That's where you're programming from one of the 64 to the ne uh, next one of the 64. Or any one of the other 64. So information or response or data in one, one function can affect the other. So 22 is doing th the thing at the right time. So 21 is waiting or patience. And 22 is action, is success, is doing it at the right time. If we take this with words, because this hearing is sound, it also relates to words and characters. Uh, it's, you know, it can be grammar, putting the words in the right order, putting the characters in the right order. So 21 is struggling, working, trying to work out what the right order, 22 is, here is the right answer, here is the right order. 23, 24, we're now coming down on to, the, this is the visual, the video signal, this is the level of quantum mechanics. Now we're coming down onto the level of relativity, which is the distant senses, you know, smell, hearing and heat. This is the audio signal. There we have the wave, the third dimension of the wave, an enduring wave is, creates a sound, which is the time. This is the enduring image on the screen goes from this is pi from the function of the movement to e you know the endurance of the, the fade of the signal so twenty three three this is in the functions is in the water the space the third dimension the fluid. So we have like the limits of space, which is the, which is the water flowing out, which is 23, and then 24 is a return. In terms of per personality, 23 is smell, and 24 is being diplomatic, is, you know, controlling that response to the group about the meaning of the smell. Obviously, with an autonomous device, each smell could be used for diagnosis or, you know, alarm in case of fire or fumes or whatever. It can be used for, for diagnosis. For example, like dogs, 
is we could recreate like the dog's ability to smell maybe not you know for a while <laughs> the dog will always be one ahead I think you know of our, of our ability to, to detect you know for the time being but we can get very sensitive and that will be the smell the smell detection 23 24 is the response to that you know the you know the, the return what what we think should be the integrated response to that 25 26 25 is dealing with time dealing with time dealing with events it's the ability to be able to deal with the unexpected to deal with things going wrong so obviously it's a necessary function a necessary property of an autonomous being of an artificial intelligence system is to be able to deal with the unexpected when things go wrong when things go, break down which they inevitably will do musically if it's too sharp if we're too hard so, so you know the, the, and 26 is back to delicacy is is success it's being able to cope and deal with the unexpected you know so this success you, you go out and you deal with the situ you deal with the situation you're not expect expecting So whatever happens, so this is the 25, 26, is d just dealing with time, just dealing with the events of time, being able to come to attention in the present moment and achieve a successful outcome in time and, and get back home, back to the space. 25, 26, 27, 28, 27. It is is choice is choices and 28 this is like zooming in and out we can zoom in and out focus on different spaces different points different areas so we can choose where we zoom in or we can and then we that's the magnification which is the 28 which is the response Twenty-nine thirty is, you know, is about the temperature, the closeness. So twenty-nine is cold, thirty is hot. Twenty-nine is winter, thirty is summer. Twenty-nine is getting close to keep warm. Twenty-thirty is hot and and moving apart. Excitation. Remember, this is the the audio the audio so there we have the audio the soundtrack we have to divide that soundtrack up into separate sounds you know be able to deal with you know, because obviously you know, like most unexpected things about a sound we can read sound remember these are the distant senses so we're aware of unexpected sounds this is a key function to be aware of unexpected sounds and to be able to understand and recognize those sounds and understand whether those sounds are harmonious or not thirty one thirty two we're going down under gravity triangle there now thirty one thirty two thirty one is is sensitivity thirty two is adaptation it's like the function of the nerves we we adapt we get used to a certain level certain level of say clothing so that you know we're not constantly feel like we're being touched we see that adaptation we adapt very very quickly to very difficult circumstances and 30 so on 31 is the sensitivity the sense there's 31 sensitivity 32 adaptation So we adapt to the situation, we accept the whole situation, we know 
try and change that situation. And we can be sensitive to changes in that situation. Can we come on to 33 and 34? 33 and 34. This is about time. 33 is the lungs, is, is rhythm. 34 is the large intestine, is regularity. 33 is retreat. It's knowing the right time to move forward with the plan. The right character. Having the right character to be able to act at the right time and not be too hasty or impulsive to be in control this is 33 34 is um, you know the, the, the obverse of that is, is one's worth it is as I say it's a large intestine so it's regularity it's regularity so it's recovery, isn't it? If you like, 33 can play defensive and deal with the situation. 34 can recover. Recover. 34 can act. So it's the balance in response to sound. It's, it's, you understand what I mean? Like in the sound, we can be very gentle or we can be very aggressive. So this is the character. This goes from the oral to the anal. This is a Freud is in this sphere. See there, the hands of the clock, the number four. 35, 36. 35 is, you know, making an appointment. 35 is really the dawn, 36 is the dusk. So 35 is, uh, you know, the appointment, keeping the appointment. So there's an appointment. You can see the these distant senses the relativity as a schedule. We've got to be in a certain space at a certain time and we need the energy to be able to move to get there. So we need to get there at a certain time, which is 35, 36. There's the vision of the hearing, so we need to be able to read, if you like, the instructions. You know, we need to be able to get there, and we need to rest and be able to analyze, to be able to go through the appointments, to to see, if you like, see what we've learned, or see what we've got to carry on. So, 35 is keeping the appointment. 36 is, you know, anal and uh, analysis and analyzing the results, integrating that into the whole picture of events. 37, 38, 37 is the uh, new moon, 38 is the full moon. 37 is a strong relationship, resonance, 38 is in oppos opposition, estrangement, uh, dissonance. So again, this is the audio triangle. So w w we're seeing about compatibility between act one's actions, one autonomous entity's actions, and another autonomous entity's actions. You know, do we recognize the face? Are we going to get on? Are, the, are these uh, robots going to be able to work together in this situation, or does one need to do its job, and then the other one wait and then move in? This is what this is about. 37, 38, 39, 40, 39, 40. 39 is the problem, you know, the, the, the problem. We're coming down onto the, the pressure triangle here, which is what we understand as gravity. So it's been under pressure with these objects. And, and what's the problem? How can we, you know, deal with the pressure? And then 40 is the release of that pressure. So 39 is the build up of the pressure to do with the problem. 40 is the release. 39, this can be sequencing. You know, so 39 can be the problem. How can we sequence that? Oh, this is sequencing, but this is solving. Solving that sequencing until 40 is the release. 41, 42, 41 
is um, choice, 42 is selection, so 41 is seeing something and thinking, right, locking on, right, that is what I want, 42 is selecting that, which obviously can be tied in here with actual physical actions, because remember this is in the, in the, the audio channel, so it's distance senses, so it's seeing things in a distance, so you have to move towards the object and, if you like, pick it up and collect it and take it to another place. Do you, you see, you're getting an analysis of behaviour is what you've got to understand. Is what I'm trying to show you is a structure for the analysis of behaviour, the attention, the schedule and the moving objects and its coordination. And just to complicate things, there's, you know, a tree of meaning built upon all that which I've gone into greater detail within, you know, the steps of entoptic hopscotch. If you want to analyse any one of these steps here, any one of these functions in, in more detail, in greater meaning, because obviously, you know, actions and communication gets into a deeper meaning and, and a, you know, deeper, more complex meaning that you can work out yourselves, you know, do you understand? We need to work out these structures and development of those meanings so that we can have a deeper communication and understanding, for example, communicating with these androids or communicating with each other. You know, what's the significance of this, in, um, this object in that situation? You know, what, you know, how can you do this or that? You see what I mean? 43, 44, 43 is just m moving forwards and 44 is braking, is stopping. In actual practice, you know, there's the driver, it's going for it or stopping, being warned. It's like something's going to stop you in the tracks is 44, that's the alarm signal. Brake on, you know, how do you deal with the alarm? 43 is pushing ahead. And we come back onto here, we're now down in the pressure signal. So this third one is the pressure signal. Right, can I just go back again? This is a basic idea. As I said, this is the accelerator, which is the differential. This is the surface, so this is the integral. Maybe this is the second differential, the second in integral, the third differential, the third integral. But mathematicians can work that out. So, th th but the, these are do two more differentials, so this is another differential. And this is another integral. This is an integral relate integrating you know three dimensional objects from here. But we'll come on to this. Forty five, forty six is a sense of touch. So forty five is actually touch hold holding something. Um forty six it is like knowing what you're going to do with that in the plan. You know, you know, this is what you need. This is the next piece of the jigsaw. The touch. 47, 48. Now this is the flow of things. The continuity. The flow of things. Continuity. The pressure. So there's a pressure signal. We see, receive a pressure signal. And we get fixed pressure signals. Fixed pressure maps and they become objects. See a zigzag is the an object, you know, the corners of an object. So this is the flow of things. Forty seven is you know the objects that are coming and that we're describing and forty eight is the objects that we we're 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 constructing. It's like two way street and we get a description and as we get a description we build up an image of what it is. This is, you know, the flow of things. 49.50 is the demand. Obviously a demand could be a demand for an object, you know, uh, I want something. Or it, 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 this is supply and demand. So 49 is demand, 50 is supply. So it's a supply of energy or demand for energy. Supply of an, of an object of energy to get that object and demand. 
51, 52, 51, 52, 51 is moving an object, 52 is holding it still, so 51 means if like it's my turn to move, and then hold it still, 52, if that's again the response, showing my present, you know, alignment, if you like, uh, uh, back to the group or the others. 53, 54, 53 is um, the, the, the steps. 53 is the steps, and 54 is like the catalogue, the inventory. So 53 is the steps of the scale. 53 is scale, 54 is rotation. So you get different scales, and you can rotate. This is objects. An object is a persisting and enduring pressure map, and that object can be scaled up or down and rotated. 53, 54, 55, 56. 55 is finding, 56 is seeking. So 56 is seeking, looking, looking for an object. And 55 is find that object. 57 is measuring an object, and 58 is fitting the object into position. So you're going back to this scale and rotation here. 59, 60, 59, you know, is, is the energy, you know, the increasing the revs here. That could be a rev counter again on there, just to show you the deeper structures that are available in my other videos. You know, and on the steps of entoptic clutch. and then 60, you know, is a steady state. You know, the the, the heat, the level is fixed, is maintained, is not, you know, a danger there. And this is six. So 59 is increasing energy. 60 is a stabilisation of energy, and again, it's a reporting reporting energy status, fuel level. 61, 62, 61 is the gears. Which gear are you in? Which does it for every 63, 4, 64 is the posture. 61 is the meaning of the posture because every posture means a, a certain sequence is going to take place like in you know in karate or in any work in production line you get into a particular position and then it, it goes through its automatic repetitive actions so and, and that is a different gearing that's a different gearing that's the 61 that's the gears 62 is the clutch 62 is the clutch it's the ability to lock in and work with somebody else you know to share that weight and that pressure load that, that deep level of communication we have with each other. 63, 64, 63 is putting everything back in its place, agreed, and 64 is the image of where it's got to go. So there we have the 64 properties on the three triangles of the three signals, the pressure signal, the audio signal, and the video signal. The video signal identifies objects and works out their speed and acceleration relative. The audio signal the echo location determines the space, which we identify this with the smell. And the, obviously the audio is how we get the idea of time from the, the endurance of that wave. And that's how, we, and remember this is about, you know, being hard and strong, hard, and, or hard or soft, you know, being active or passive. You know, acting or, or, or e e easing off in a situation. This is in the audio. Then we have the pressure, the demand for objects.
you know, demand for fuel, the catalogue of objects and the fitting together of objects. Remember the different sequencing, the solving the pressure problem, and then if you like the presentation back here in a cooperative function.